Hi folks, Anika Tessier here for Delta Resources. We are sitting here on the iZone. The iZone is part of that 30,000 hectare land position that Delta has in the Shabandawan Greenstone Belt, only 50 kilometers away from Thunder Bay. We are 18 kilometers west-southwest of the uh, Eureka Gold Zone here. Uh, the mineralization here was discovered in uh, late 80s by Inco Gold, the company that, or subsidiary of Inco that only lasted for a few years. Um, they initially drilled a hole here uh, that graded 3.3 grams over 14 and a half meters. Uh, later on, a company called Landor Resources came here, drilled 4.3 grams per ton gold over 41 meters, 4.5 uh, grams per ton gold over 14 and a half meters, and another 4.36 grams per ton gold over 20.6 meters. Uh, we also know that INCO was extremely serious about this zone because they actually did a cyanide test to see how much they could recover from this ore and they have recovered 96.2 percent of the gold from this rock. Later on a company called Mengold came here in 2008 before the crash. They sampled a 1,000 kilogram bulk sample from surface and recovered 9.9 .9 grams per ton gold. The mineralization is hosted by these dikes with an azimuth of 070 and there's a bunch of extension veins that we call gash veins that are perpendicular to the dike and they look something like this. So the veinlets are anywhere to up to 10 centimeters or so. The rocks, the dike is extremely, extremely altered. These veins or these intercepts are economic widths at economic grade right close to surface. This is a place we're gonna come back and then do a lot more work. <music>